This is Lulu Sketches. I've been getting a ton of questions lately about my digital art equipment. So today I'm going to go over all the digital gear that I've ever used. And I'll also show you guys what digital brushes I use. When I was first starting out doing digital art, I was in elementary school. I think I was like 11. I started doing digital art on my old Windows computer and I drew with a mouse. It wasn't this mouse, this is just a prop for the video. It was a right-handed mouse and I am left-handed so that was pretty difficult. It was a very slow process. I started drawing on the free paint program that was on old Windows computers and then I started drawing on okakicentral.com. There's a lot of these websites where you can draw on them and then post your art and their program it had layers I think so I did that for a couple years in middle school I got my first drawing tablet this is it this is a Wacom Intuos 3 they come in small medium large and this is the small here's the stylus I used with it and mm -hmm. I use this tablet for 10 years. I had this middle school through the end of college. This is all I used. It has a wire. It connected to my old MacBook Pro. So it is right-handed. They didn't have left-handed tablets at this time. For some reason I couldn't disable this scroll bar so I just covered it in tape so I could draw without randomly zooming in and out of my drawing. So I was still using Okaki Central with this tablet in middle school and I took a break from digital art in high school. I did a lot of traditional art. In college, I started doing digital art again and I got Photoshop. I got Photoshop CS5. I was able to get the 80% off discount for students and teachers to buy Photoshop. Because Photoshop used to be like close to $1,000. It was ridiculous. Nowadays, uh, Photoshop is a monthly payment only. I think it's $10 a month. So I see it as more accessible now, but I don't love paying monthly. So that's that tablet, which I had for a very long time. Even the surface of it got very deep scratches into it and I was able to buy replacement surfaces on the Wacom website. So it looks pretty dang new now. And then at the end of college, I bought myself a another tablet. It's the Wacom Intuos 5 Touch and it's wireless. So this was a nice upgrade. I don't really use the touch functions actually. I wish I didn't even get the touch function because I just haven't found any use for it. And this is the stylus I use with it. So I was painting environments for the first time on this thing and my MacBook Pro was barely able to handle that many layers and that large of files anymore. It just didn't have enough RAM and it was very old. I knew I'd need to upgrade my computer soon. And until recently, I still use this tablet. I always brought it home with me over Christmas, whenever I was traveling. Then when I got my first job in animation at Nickelodeon, I moved out to LA and my first day on the job, I used a Cintiq for the first time. I didn't tell anyone that was my first time using a Cintiq. And at work we used the Wacom Cintiq 22 HD. So after I started my job in animation, I finally bought myself my own Cintiq for home. It's on my desk, so it's not very portable. I also got myself an iMac with a lot of RAM so I can work on really big files when I'm painting digitally. I've been using my Cintiq since I started in the animation industry, so like four years. And recently I upgraded to Photoshop CC. The most recent drawing tablet I bought was the iPad Pro. The larger size that the iPad Pro comes in, this is the 12.9 inch. The Apple Pencil, it's really nice drawing on this. It's a little different from using a Wacom product. This is great for travel. I can now draw and paint digitally in an airplane, but to be honest, the main reason I got an iPad is so I can draw digitally while lying down on my couch. Because when I work on my Cintiq in the other room, you feel like you're just chained to your desk. I'm an adult now and I just want to be comfortable all the time. So I use the app Procreate for drawing digitally on my iPad. It's different than Photoshop. It's 
really simple. It would really be a fantastic program if it had clipping masks. These are different than regular masks, so don't try to tell me that Procreate already has clipping masks because it doesn't. Next, my digital brushes for the app Procreate. I just use the default brushes. I really enjoy the pencil brushes on there. I usually just use technical pencil. My Photoshop brushes, I'm gonna go over my favorite ones. I will link them down below. This first brush is called the Stumpy Pencil Brush. I use it for everything. It is my absolute favorite brush. You can get it for free online. Next is Shiyun Kim's Small Regular Ink Brush. This is one of Shiyun's brushes from his ink brush set. For this brush, I really like going into the brush settings and turning off texture. It gives a very clean line, which I like to use for line work. Next is one of Helen Chin's brushes. This is one of the brushes that she uses for characters. It can be found in her huge brush set, which I'll link down below. Next is Mike Yamada's dry brush. This is another one of my favorite brushes for painting. Next is Shiyun Kim's ink bristle brush. This is another one of his ink brushes from his ink brush set. The next two brushes are brushes by Kyle T. Webster. These are two of my favorite of Kyle's. They're called Gouache A Go Go and Fat Fun Spongy. I used to buy Kyle's brush sets online, but recently he was hired by Adobe, so you can't buy his brushes online anymore. They are available exclusively in Photoshop CC. In conclusion, digital drawing and digital painting is really cool. The tools don't matter so much as what you do with them. I mean, I started digital drawing with a mouse. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend a small Intuos tablet, or I've also heard about the Bamboo, which is another small tablet and they're on the cheaper side. Don't go out and buy yourself a Cintiq. I mean, I didn't even get a Cintiq till I was already working in the animation industry. You don't need it. You can do the same kind of art with other tools. Or you could just start out with an iPad, and Procreate can do a lot of cool stuff. Also, there's another app called Clip Studio Paint. If I only had an iPad to draw with, I would probably get Clip Studio Paint and pay monthly to use that program. So those are all the digital tools I've ever used and my Photoshop brushes. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Next week, I'll have a how to start drawing digitally tutorial coming out. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye.